So let's continue our conversation about all these amazing physical and mental health benefits of magnesium that science has shown us. And if you're considering using magnesium, always check with your provider to make sure it's the right thing for you and the right kind of magnesium because there are amazing kinds of magnesium. (laughs) They're all good. And if you are looking for ways to support your child's mental health, you can always join our Facebook group by going to drrosanne.com forward slash group. We talk about a lot of different natural solutions. Of course, they're science backed and it's an opportunity to get questions answered. So as we're continuing this conversation, for me, obviously my whole life's work is about showing parents individuals, it's going to be okay. And we use science-backed solutions that calm the brain so that we get those all-important happy families. And magnesium is my favorite. And today we're talking about mental wellness, mental health, clinical issues, because they are on the rise, right? You're listening to this show because you love and care about somebody, probably a child or a teenager or a young adult who's struggling. And, you know, if you're listening, you know, Really, honestly, you've got to dig in. The magic is in the micro. We always want like a magic bullet. We always want this one thing, this one pill, this one supplement. There are many ways to calm the brain. And as long as we're using safe and natural, you know that I don't believe we should ever start with psychiatric medication. We have developing brains and we should start with natural solutions and empower parents. We also have to pair that with behavioral change, whether that's you getting parenting support because nobody signed up for, nobody knows how to parent a child who maybe is um, fearful or moody or aggressive or forgetful. Any of those things become a challenge. We are not taught that and you need professional guidance, right? Um, And support. And I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're listening because that's that first step. So let's talk about how magnesium helps the brain when it comes to mental health. There are a lot more than 10, but I'm going to do 10 and I'm going to share all my nerdy brainy stuff. So in case your, you know, your pediatrician says, eh, it's not a good idea. You can say, well, I learned about it. And there you'll, you know, in the show notes, there'll be our blogs um, that are related to this that have the research citations. So feel good about it. So it is important for N. MDA receptor modulation. So what does this mean? How does it help us? So it helps prevent the influx of calcium into the neuron, which then could lead to neurotoxicity if excessive, right? And it prevents that exotoxicity associated with many clinical conditions, right? Because it it means there's an overstimulation, there's too much, it becomes toxic but it's often associated with anxiety and depression, right? So that's one of the ways that magnesium supports is it helps to modulate the NMDA receptor, right? Okay, so magnesium is important for the stress hormone regulation. We know we have a stress system, right? You've heard me talk a lot about it, but we have a real or perceived stressor. It does. It could be good or bad. It kicks in cortisol, and then that cortisol starts working, and it gets us into this activation, right? And we're supposed to go in fight, flight, or freeze. It's an evolutionary response that goes back to the cavemen, and we go into the sympathetic dominant, like, where's the war? Where's the bad thing that's going to happen? I'm ready. I'm ready, okay? The problem is that chronic stress can lead to a constant sympathetic dominant activation. And that means your cortisol is just jacked up all the time, jacked up all the time. You know it if you're listening. You know you have a kid like that. I have a kid like that. Like could, you know, works real hard to regulate. Magnesium is a part of his, um, and and in fact, really, to be honest, when he fully gave up taking supplements because he wasn't going to do it anymore, was the only one he said, where's that magnesium? He said, it absolutely helps me. So, (laughs) you know, true story for real, but everyone's different and he should be taking multiple and he is. 
Um, but it helps to regulate the stress hormone, which is cortisol. We don't want you to be in constant activation of cortisol. You don't have unlimited. You need to go into adrenal depletion. Um, and this is for us too, mamas and papas and caregivers. We need it to be regulated and magnesium helps with that. So magnesium helps with serotonin production. So it's the production and function of serotonin. It actually helps. So it has to do with calcium and, and whatnot. I won't get super nerdy on you, but um, we again, only think psychiatric medications can affect serotonin and serotonin is largely created in the gut. And, you know, we know that um, our gut health is important for um, our serotonin protection of production, but magnesium impacts our gut health. So they're all related um, and magnesium is really, really helpful for that um, and understanding it. Okay, neuroinflammation reduction. So again, you're learning. Wait, inflammation is tied to anxiety, depression, autism, um, pans, pandas, um, OCD, you know, all of these clinical conditions. Inflammation is a part of it. Sometimes it is the cause, right, of it. But we're not talking about it. We're only talking about neurotransmitter. And magnesium helps, has anti-inflammatory properties. That's it. And it's incredibly helpful. We need neuroinflammation. We need our brain inflammation down. Very sadly, this is the truth. You all know I love my QEG brain maps. And if you're considering and working with me, you better hightail it because it's not going to happen forever. Um, and we are going to be doing pre and post brain maps with our, for some people um, with who are taking our magnesium. How cool is that? You guys are going to love it. Um, so, but is that when I do brain maps, I almost never see a child who doesn't have inflammation. I mean, that's how common it is. So it is more common. We have too much toxicity around us and it's really uh, challenging unless you're just actively countering all of this. Um, I know it freaks people out when I show them the inflammation. Okay. Neuroplasticity. So it helps with our synaptic pla neuroplasticity and we need synaptic neuroplasticity for memory, learning, and our overall cognitive functioning. And there's a lot of reasons why we might not have neuroplasticity. It could be temporary. It could be um, the way our brain is sort of just functioning at the time. But there are many things we can do, and magnesium is one of them. Certainly, neurofeedback helps with neuroplasticity in general. Um, but it's a, it's a great solution for that. Okay. It enhances GABA functioning. Love GABA. Anybody who takes GABA, I take it at night for sleep. Um, it inhibits neurotransmitters that are excitatory. So magnesium inhibits the excitatory neurotransmitters. And GABA, right, it helps to promote calm, relaxation. And we know that with so many of our kids who have anxiety, depression, they're stuck. They're stuck in fearful, anxious, worried thoughts. And anything that could help promote um, calm, relaxation, that's safe and natural is always a good idea. And whether it's magnesium, it's GABA, any of these things, you always want to run it past your provider. Okay. Magnesium actually protects against brain damage. And there's lots of forms of brain damage that can occur, but chronic stress can lead to damage in the brain, right? We, we start pushing out all this cortisol. We're in this sympathetic dominant activated state constantly. And nobody ever wants to think about it. You actually can create lasting damage. You know, we think that we're a bank that we have to never make a deposit. And that just isn't the way that it works with the brain and the body. You do have to put the right fuel in. You have to put the right food. You have to um, cut stressors, avoid toxic people, you know, do things to fill your cup. And that includes making sure you have the right nutrients that come through either direct supplementation uh, as well as as healthy diet as possible. Um, and I'm very open about the fact that I have genetic mutations that, you know, variants that impact how I am utilizing certain nutrients and I have to supplement it. And there's no way that this busy girl could ever, ever 
keep up with the the amount of things that I have going on and have enough magnesium food in my life, right? So magnesium supplementation is an easy yes. Um, okay, so it balances blood sugar and blood sugar that is variable, high insulin levels is associated with anxiety, depression, other clinical, as well as type two diabetes. And um, so we wanna make sure that our sh blood sugars are balanced and magnesium can help support that, but you also really want to make sure you're having constant protein and healthy fats, avoiding garbage. Uh, you know, a friend of mine who I know, she's somebody I'm friendly with. Um, she's not my friend, still drinks soda. And I was like, you drinking soda? Who drinks soda? <laughs> it's not good. It's not good for you right? Okay. So I'm always going to put sleep here. Good sleep is associated with better mental health and magnesium support sleep quality. I mean, oh, when I take my, you know, magnesium, I just sleep so much better. You know, I didn't take it the other day and it was not fun around here. I was like, I didn't get my magnesium. They all scurried. They all knew like, don't mess with mom. She doesn't take your magnesium. Um, okay. So it promotes general relax relaxation and reducing of muscle tension. Magnesium is well known for that. It's a good thing. Um, I know that, um, you know, what, why I'm so excited about our neurotastic multi-mag brain formula, you go to drrosanne.com forward slash magnesium, they made it a really tasty powder. So for those of us that take it at night, but also if there's times that we're stressed, you can actually, you know, pop it in a water bottle and have it during the day too. Um, there are lots of ways to support our nervous system and we need to stick to a few. And if you're like me, you're doing, you know, 10 things on a rotation, but magnesium is my constant as well as PEMF. I do PEMF every day to help counter life stressors. So magnesium, these are some of the 10 ways that it has been clinically shown to support anxiety, stress, mood. Um, and we're going to dive into how it supports attention tomorrow. But I hope you got you really excited about magnesium and supporting mental health. And I don't care how many times I'm going to say it. It is the number one nutrient people always say to me they wish they started earlier.